So I get asked a lot about my window coverings and my curtain for the front. I don't do anything special, but I'll show you what I do and uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas. So for the window coverings, I just do what everybody else does. And that is you buy this um, Reflectix material at any hardware store and cut it to size, which is the hardest part. My Reflectix wasn't wide enough, so I had to kind of like tape on some pieces, which by the way, tape doesn't stay in vans. So I actually sewed these together <laughs> after they kept falling off. I just took a needle and thread and just sewed it together. For the back, I took some of the spray glue and just glued on some black fabric. I've had to do, I think this is the second iteration because the first iteration uh, was really faded. So I put on a second layer over it. If you've got extra fabric around, that's kind of a good thing. You can kind of stuff it in the corners if you haven't cut your Reflectix perfectly. So this simply goes right up into the window and I kind of can tuck it up into this um, rubber a little bit. So it's better if it's a little bit too big uh, because you can kind of tuck it into the sides of the windows here. So that's what I do for the front and side windows. For the back window, that window is a pain. I had to have a couple trial and error with that. If you just have Reflectix, it like folds down. And I tried, oh, putting the plastic ribs in between. None of that worked. So here's what I do now. I got a big piece of insulation um, and cut it down. So it looks like this at the store, it's just a big sheet. And I cut it to size, to the whole window. I taped the corners so I wouldn't get um, styrofoam bits all over. And then I put this like uh, fleece covering on the other side of it. And I made it really too big so that I could kind of have a rolled edge. So I rolled this up and this is like a little um, roll. <laughs> and I can kind of stuff that in to, to make sure that it's totally covered. And it's so easy to put up. Watch this. So all I have to do is just stuff it in the window. Super easy to get it in there. Um, and that's worked really well. It's kind of misshaped itself uh, over the months, especially in the heat. So I don't know, I might have to make another one that's a little bit bigger, but so far it's worked great. So for my side windows here, I have a cover, same thing with Reflectix. I have black on the other side and I put a beige color here to kind of sort of match with the van. And then on the edges, um, I just put a piece of duct tape to kind of hold the two fabrics together. I think I spray glued them as well. But what the duct tape does is it provides this nice little thin piece to go up into the corners. So right here, for example, I've got this thin corner here and I kind of missed it a little bit here on the side. So I just put a piece of duct tape, taped it on one side and folded it over. So I just had a, uh, you know, an extra little piece there that I can stick in. I can stick in this corner right inside the trim. It doesn't fit a lot. It doesn't fit very thick pieces, but tape folded over works really good. And then I can just sort of take this tape here and this on the top isn't optimal here, but it's better if it's just the flat tape sticking out. You can kind of push it up right underneath there. So I do that for this cover as well as this cover here. You can see here, same thing, just um, extra duct tape. 
and it just folds in the sides here. So that's what I do for my coverings. Now, when I'm in a city, I don't want to block off my front windows because that's kind of a dead giveaway that like somebody's sleeping in the car. So what I do is I put up a curtain in the front. And if you've ever tried to do this, I understand why you're asking because <laughs> nothing works. I've tried metal rods, I've tried all kinds of things. And the only thing that's sort of worked is just a Velcro strip going all the way across. Now this is my second Velcro strip and I made sure to get it totally level, but you know, as the heat goes, it's going to shrink. So you want to cut the corners, otherwise it's going to separate and you're going to have like a big, um, it's going to go like this and come out. So you've got to cut your corners and lay it as flat as you can with a little slack if you can because it shrinks in the heat and it just comes off in the heat. So, so you can see this piece is, you know, I've got to keep re-sticking it. It does all right in dry heat, but wet heat, humid heat, it comes right off. So I just carry extra with me and I know it's not a permanent solution. For my curtains, what I did was I just got some blackout curtains at Walmart and I cut them. I should have sewed them as well, <laughs> but I just cut them and I put some Velcro on the top. You might consider putting the sticky side on your roof because it just sticks to itself and pulls out all the fibers and stuff like that. So, uh, but what I do, so I take my curtain and just stick it to the top here and around the side. And I have some Velcro on the sides here. I should have more, It'd be better if it was one long strip. So there's that. And then I put up the other side, same thing. When I put the second curtain on, it has Velcro, and I kind of overlap it a little bit. So that's the top of the curtain, and it just keeps going down. And this one, for some reason, I do have Velcro all the way down. Now for the metal, I just close it up. So that's what it looks like from the back when it's all closed up. It's a nice pretty curtain. And from the front, you know, you really can't see anything but black behind the seats. You could see a little bit of the um, pattern going through, and that's why I, I just put some duct tape over it. But, you know, you might just get all black blackout curtains, then you won't have this issue. I could probably get that a little tighter there. A whole Velcro strip would really be the best way to go, just all the way down. And I'll show you what I do when I am not in a city, I'm just in a campground. It's always nicer to have the front area um, accessible. So when I'm camped in the woods or the forest or something, I can use that whole front area. And I block out my front window with just a normal sunshade that rolls up, but it sags in the middle and you get a lot of light that comes in. So I took this uh, corrugated plastic material and made ribs on this. I blocked out the sides a little bit extra and I just sewed these pieces on. I glued it with uh, 
spray glue. That probably would have been enough because they're on there for sure. But uh, I just gave a little extra stitch all the way across. This side didn't need as much extra material over here. And I cut this one to be exact. You can see here where I slip it in under my mirror. So the tops slip in under the trim as well. And that pretty much covers the whole window except for right here by the mirror. I could probably use my little fabric trick of uh, like rolling some extra fabric and like being able to unfold it around the mirror. So I could do that if I wanted as well. But this works well and it just folds up normally still. I did have to put an extra piece of Velcro so that I can go around it because it's a little fatter now. But uh, that has worked pretty well for my front window. So that's what I do. Nothing revolutionary, but uh, maybe it'll give you some good ideas. If you have any ideas uh, of how I can improve this or if you've got something that works great, please leave it in the comments because it's such a simple thing, but boy, it's a huge part of van life that can really make your nights, uh, you know, a pain in the butt or really nice. So it, it really matters. Um, but yeah, leave those ideas in the comments and uh, good luck cutting your Reflectix. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I used cardboard, uh, a cardboard cutout. Not that it did me any good. I still had to fudge a lot, but you can try that. But good luck cutting and I'll see you guys later.